Hey, what's going on guys in this video we are going to talk about boolean algebra in boolean algebra if you have a plus sign that means that's or and if you have if you see a dot that means and now let's look at some examples let's say we have a plus zero so this is a or gate right so in or gate if a is equal to one that's going to be one because if any of this is one it's going to be one in or gate but if a is equal to zero this is the result is going to be zero so it depends on a therefore the answer is going to be a a plus zero is a and two a plus one if in or gate if one of them is one it's going to be one so it doesn't matter what is a is if a even if it's a if the a is zero it's still going to be one now let's look at another one a plus a bar so if a is one a complement if a bar if you have a bar that means complement that means opposite if a is one this is going to be zero if a is 0, this is going to be 1. Since we are getting 1, this is going to be definitely 1 because in OR gate, we just have to have 1, 1 to have the results, result 1. Okay. Now let's look at the next one. Let's look, look at some AND gate. Let's say we have a dot 1. So in AND gate, if one of them is 0, it means the whole thing is going to be 0. But we don't know what is a is. If a is 1, this is going to be 1 because we have 1 right here. But if a is 0, this whole thing is going to be 0. So it depends on a. Therefore, the answer is going to be a. Now let's look at the next one. Let's say we have a dot 0. So in and get, if anything, any one 0 is there, it means the whole thing is 0. So this is definitely 0. Now let's look at the next one. a dot a bar. If a is 1, this is going to be 0. If a is 0, this is going to be 1. There is 1 0, right? So if, if we have a chance to get a zero, this means the whole thing is going to be zero in AND gate. So this is going to be zero. Now let's look at seven, A plus A. So A can be one or A can be zero. If A is one, the result is going to be one. If A is zero, both of them are zero. Therefore, the result is going to be zero. Therefore, it depends on A. So the answer is going to be A. Now let's look at the next one, A dot A. If A is one, the result is going to be one because one dot one is one. If a is 0, 0 dot 0, that's going to be 0. So it depends on a. So this is also going to be a. Now let's look at the next one. a bar bar. Let's see what this one is. a bar is a complement. If a is 1, 1 complement is 0. Then 0 complement again, that's going to make this one 1. So it's like negative 1. This one like negative, negative 1. If it's negative, negative 1, that's going to be positive 1, right? So it doesn't, this is going to be just a. Now let's look at the next one. We have a times b plus c. It's similar to multiplication. In math, you know that when we have this one like this, we can write it as a b plus a c. So this is going to be this one. Now let's look at the next one. This is going to be the difficult one to like difficult to understand, but we can prove this one right here. So this is a plus b c that can be represented as a plus b times a plus c now let's prove this is true now in order to do this one we can use this uh, foil method foil method is basically we multiply right we multiply a times a a times c and b times a b times c and see what we get and if you this one a times a a dot a right this is a multiplication so this and a and a dot a here you can see a dot a is a so this is just a and then a dot c that's going to be just a c and then b dot a that's going to be a b a b and then b dot c that's going to be just b c from this one we can you can see we can take a common if you take a common this is going to be 1 plus c plus b plus b c and in OR gate, if any of this is 1, it means the whole thing is 1. It doesn't matter whether this is 0 or 1, because we just have to have 1, 1 in OR gate. So since this is 1, this is going to be 1. So this is going to be A, A and 1 plus B, C. A and 1 is what? That's going to be A. So this is going to be A plus B, C. That's how we derive this one. Okay. Now these are some basic things about Boolean algebra. Now let's see some expression. Like in pre in my previous video, I draw a circuit using an expression. Now let's see whether we can simplify this circuit 
using boolean algebra now in order to do that i need some space so let's get get rid of get rid of this one okay okay let's continue that one right here so the expression we had was w prime x y z prime plus w x w bar x bar y bar z bar it's not bar w x bar y bar z bar and then we had w x bar y z plus w x y z so this was i draw this circuit in my previous video now let's see whether we can simplify this one using boolean algebra so when we do boolean algebra the first thing is we have to see whether we can take something common like most of the time three variable common two variable common now let's see here here you can see this one in this one you can see wyc is common wyc is common so if we bring this bring this one down right here wyz common so we have x bar plus x so this is x complement plus x so one of them is going to be one so if any one is there in or gate the answer is one so this is going to be wyz and one and this one reminds w bar x y z bar plus w x bar y bar z bar plus w y z we can get rid of this one because w y z and one that's going to be just w y z so this is the answer and here after this it's not it doesn't seems like it's simplifiable like it's the maximum right so we can leave it like this now let's look at another example let's say we have x bar y z bar plus x bar y z plus x y z bar and this is y bar and this is x y bar z plus x y z the first step is we have to see whether we can take two common because if we can separate one it's easy to find whether it is zero or one or whatever it is okay now let's look at here x bar y we can take x bar by common in these two so if we take this one this is going to be x bar y z plus z bar so when we have or gate if we have z and z complement one of them is going to be one so if any of this one is this one i mean any of this is one it means the or gate is one in or gate we just have to have to have one one right so this is going to be just x bar y and let's see whether we can simplify this one here we have we can take x y bar common so if we take x y bar common this is going to be again z plus z bar and the, again this is an or gate with complement z and z complement so we are definitely going to have one so this is going to be just x y bar times one that's going to be x y bar and then we are left with x we took this one so we just have this one alone so let's keep bring this one down right here this is going to be x y z now here you can ask like uh, if x bar y plus x y bar is it equal to one or zero in order to check this one you can always put it in the truth table so truth to put in the truth table what we do is we put x y values and we try different values there are four different values you can have so x y we can have 0 0 0 1 1 0 and then 1 1 okay so in our first case we are just looking whether this is going to give us 1 right we are interested in that one if it's 1 we can simplify this one furthermore so here we can uh, let's take this one first x bar y x bar y mean x bar x bar is x complement so this thing is going to change this is going to become 1100 zero, zero. so we just have to see if we multiply this one with this what we are going to get x bar is what that's going to be 1 1 times 0 that's going to be 0 because in AND gate if we have 1 0 the whole thing is 0 so this is going to be 0 and x bar here is going to be 1 because x complement that's going to be 1 1 times 1 that's going to be 1 and uh, x complement this is going to be 0 0 times 0 that's going to be 0 and x complement this is going to be 0 0 times 1 that's going to be 0 now let's look at x y bar 
x is going to remain the same y is going to change because y complement so this is going to become 1 0 1 0 so let's do the multiplication 0 times 1 so that's going to be 0 because we just have to have 1 0 in AND gate in order to get a 0 now the next one is going to be 0 times 0 that's going to be 0 1 times this is going to be y complement so this is going to change into 1 so 1 times 1 that's going to be 1 then we have x y bar so x remains 1 but y complement this is going to become 0 so we are going to get 0 now finally we are interested in addition because x bar y or x y bar so this is going to be x bar y plus x y bar now let's go ahead and do the or get 0 plus 0 that's 0 and 1 plus 0 1 because in OR gate we just have to have 1, 1 to have 1. Okay, 0 plus 1, 1. 0 plus 0, 0. But in order to get 1, we have to have all the term 1. Since we are getting 2, 0 and 2, 1, this is not equal to 1. So therefore we cannot simplify this one furthermore. Our final expression is going to be this one. Right, in order to get 1, everything has to be 1. Now let's go ahead and draw the circuit for this one. Let's get rid of this one okay so I'm gonna draw the circuit for this one let's erase this one here we have 3 and get because 3 multiplication so we have to have 3 and get so first you can have X complement and Y this is one of the and get and another one is this one x y complement this is another one all of them are connected to the OR gate because we are adding everything right so this is all of them are connected to the OR gate so this is our OR gate and these are connected to this and we have to have another three input because we have XYZ remaining we can put in this three input in two ways we can put a three input AND gate in order to get this input like x y z or we can take two input and get two input and get and like cascading like we can put it like this y z so in both ways it's correct so this way we can design this circuit i hope this helps thanks for watching